send people away, you get a check. You work, you get a check. Anger spewing from dozens of people who say the not-for-profit survivors, not victims, didn't pay them for weeks of work. The adults work and the kids work. Five days, Monday through Friday, and they're not going to pay them? That's ridiculous. They called News Channel 3 asking us to take action. The kids are going back to school. How do you expect people to live? And I tell us nothing. Just lock up the doors in there. Everything is locked up. A sign on management's door said the checks would be delivered at 4 o'clock. News Channel 3 knocked on the door. No one answered. So we called the number given on the flyer and no one picked up. As afternoon faded into evening, many of these people still hadn't gotten paid. They owe me $1,200. They gave me $100. I'm going to get put out of my damn house because of these people. Others got a fraction of what they say they were owed. I got half my check. <gasps> the staff worked all summer long for survivors, not victims, feeding children at summer programs throughout the peninsula. Kenneth Fairbanks is owed money from June. It's tough. I mean, I've still got to go home and tell my wife, you know, that we can't take our kids back to school shopping. All Fairbanks was able to leave with was this contract. He fears it's only worth the paper that it's written on. Total $600 or minus any taxes no later than two weeks from now. Right. Do you have any confidence in that? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Just like it's been done before, I'm sure it'll be done again. The employees continue to show their frustration, demanding someone come out to talk to them. Hello, can y'all talk? But the boss went out the back door, avoiding News Channel 3 and the crowd. He should have snuck out the building. And the lady snuck out the back door. She couldn't come out and even talk to us. Fearing the distraught workers would get out of hand, police were called, and the people soon headed home, a lot of them empty-handed. Another flyer was put up saying new management would answer their questions on Tuesday.